Hey miners and minettes, wanna level up your heart of the mountain quickly? Yeah? Here's how. First some prerequisites, you'll need a drill with breaking power 8 or higher as well as the royal pigeon. Additionally, I strongly recommend having at least 3 commission slots. Without these, the method I'll talk about won't really work nearly as well. Once you have these, all you need to do is go to the crystal hollows and do the commissions. Each commission will give you 400 heart of the mountain XP, which is 4 times more than what a commission in the dwarven mines would give. It's also faster to do them if you know how to. Now for the commissions themselves. I'll be going through these area by area rather than commission by commission because I think it makes more sense that way. First, let's start with the jungle. I mentioned this in one of my previous videos already, but the areas are always set in a coordinate range. If you open F3 and are in the jungle, you'll see that you'll always be within the coordinates shown on screen now. Same goes for all the other areas. If you're ever having trouble finding an area, just refer to the coordinate ranges they belong to. Anyways, the first commission you'll find here is the Amethyst Gem Collector. Very simple, just mine Amethyst. Then you have the Fist Slayer, which is very closely related to the Amethyst Gem Collector, since Thists have a chance of spawning when you mine Amethyst. That is it, that's a lot of Thists in one sentence. Sludge Slayer is much more annoying though, since they only really spawn in structures. As for the Amethyst Crystal Commission, and all the other Crystal Commissions for that matter, I'll talk about those a bit later. The Mithril Deposits feature the Jade Gem Collector Commission, which is very easy just like the Amethyst Counterpart, and the Team Treasurite Slayer Commission. This one's similar to Sludge Slayer, they mostly spawn in structures, which can be hard to find at times. In the Precursor Remnants you'll do the Sapphire Gem Commission and Automaton Slayer, and just like before, Sapphire is super easy, while Automaton Slayer can take some time if you don't find the right structures. I'm not gonna bore you any further with the last two areas, since it's all just the same stuff. In the Goblin Hideout you'll mine Amber and kill Goblins, and in the Magma Fields you'll mine Topaz and kill Yogs. Ok, remember those pesky Crystal Commissions I mentioned before? Let's talk about them now. These are different from all the other commissions since you can't carry multiple of the same crystal at once. This means that once you do one of them, you will no longer receive that commission as long as you don't use the crystals in the Crystal Nucleus. This is also what I recommend you do if you want to get your Heart of the Mountain up. You don't want to get these commissions no matter what since they take by far the longest. You'll obviously still need to complete all of them once though, so if you don't know how to, I'll be posting a detailed video about that tomorrow. Here's a quick rundown though. For the Amethyst Crystal you need to first locate the Jungle Temple, then open it using a Jungle Key, and finally clear the parkour challenge inside it. For Amber you need to locate the Goblin King, bring him 3 Goblin Eggs, locate the Goblin Queen's Den and sneak past the guards to steal the crystal. For Jade you need to scavenge the Golden Floor in the Mines of Divan for 4 items and bring them to each of the NPCs. For Sapphire you need to bring all 6 rare automaton drops to Professor Robot in the Lost Precursor City. Lastly, for Topaz you only need to kill Baal, the giant magma cube boss. There's one more gem collector commission for rubies, which just spawn in every area. This is basically the best commission ever. Or second best actually. For my money, the best commission is the subscribe to Powliner commission. This one's super easy, you just gotta click subscribe. Come on, get your heart of the mountain XP now. The last few commissions are all rather annoying. One is to mine a thousand hearthstone, which takes a bit of time, but it's not too bad. Another is to open 10 loot chests. I don't recommend you actively try to do this one, but rather just open them if you stumble upon them whilst doing other commissions. They spawn in special areas like this, by the way. The last commission is the Boss Corleone Slayer, where you have to kill, you guessed it, Boss Corleone. He spawns in a special structure inside the Mirfil deposits. That's all the commissions, but wait, don't leave, you don't know anything yet. Here's how to do them. The first method is just joining and leaving until you find your desired area. Let me explain. Let's say you have Jade Gem Collector. This means that you're looking for the Mithril Deposits. But would you look at that, you're not in the Mithril Deposits. Wow, that sucks. Anyways, just leave and join back and there's a solid chance you'll spawn in the Mithril Deposits. And if you don't, just repeat until you do. Sometimes this won't work and will keep sending you to other areas, in which case you just mine to the desired area. Remember to use the coordinates I mentioned before. It's kind of lame, sure, but it's the fastest way to do it. It would be nice if the admins added some quick travel system between the areas though. As I mentioned before, the gem commissions are super easy. Same goes for this slayer, since it's literally just Amethyst Gem Collector 2. The other slayer commissions can take some time though. All these guys very rarely spawn outside the structures in their areas. So if you can't find the structure, you might be stuck on the commission for quite a while. You'll get better at doing these as you play more. Another method people use is to dig a tunnel all around the map. This grants you easy access to all the different areas, and once you know where everything is, it becomes incredibly easy to do commissions. It is also very helpful to have SBE waypoints for this. This method has one flaw though. 
since the servers reset every two hours, you could just arrive there, start digging, and the server would shut down midway through, which would be very discouraging. Pick whichever method you prefer more. Here's some miscellaneous tips. Fun fact, 91.3% of miners don't know these. Don't ask me where I got the statistic, by the way. It's, it's kind of classified info. If you drink a water bottle in the magma fields, your heat goes down by 50. When you find a loot chest, you can just exit out of the menu and all the items will be added to your inventory and sacks. The gemstones don't all need the same breaking power to be mined. On screen now is a nice graphic showing this. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. I'll be posting a lot more informative videos as well as new item showcases in the coming days, so prepare for that. I'll be leaving now.